In the meantime, deaths from COVID have topped 900,000 with California leading the way, 80,000 deaths there. That's more than any other state. And despite the increase here, it appears the Omicron variant is retreating. Hospitalizations are down, renewing hope this COVID surge would be the last. CBS 4's Michael George reports. It took less than two months for COVID-19 related deaths in the U.S. to jump from 800,000 to 900,000. That's more lives lost than the number of people living in several U.S. cities like San Francisco or Indianapolis. President Biden on Friday worked to put the situation in perspective. The physical and emotional weight of the pandemic has been incredibly difficult to bear for so many people. But here's the good news. We have the tools to save lives and to keep businesses open and keep schools open, keep workers on the job. And now the Omicron variant is showing signs of receding, with new daily cases dropping by nearly half a million since mid-January. And according to Johns Hopkins University, every state is seeing a decline in new daily case numbers. That comes as a relief after the highly contagious variant also took a toll on the youngest Americans. For the last several months, while Omicron has been surging, uh, children zero to four years of age have been hospitalized at three times the rate of children between five and 17 years of age and at a rate equivalent to adults. This week, Pfizer asked the FDA to grant emergency use authorization for two doses of its COVID vaccine for children under five. Meanwhile, the drug maker is researching whether three doses would be more effective for that age group. Michael George, CBS News, New York.